Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard, episode number 89 of season 4. And we're going to go ahead and start off this video, guys, with the completion of the heroic upgrade for Nia Jax. It has been exhausting. You guys will know um, 14 hours from now. No, sorry, it was 14 hours from now a couple of hours ago. So about 16, 18 hours from now, I, uh, I started... I started the, uh, the the grind, the hard, hard grind. I was all the way, all the way here on this hardened Rusev. Um, thought I was going to stream straight away, and I just I, I got carried away. I binge watched all of season two of Thirteen Reasons Why on Netflix, and I've been speaking to so many people on Discord, on Twitter about the season, and I know so many of you guys are watching it, which I'm really surprised about. So by all means, guys, if you're watching Thirteen Reasons Why. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. If you watched the whole thing yet, what do you think? Um, use like some spoiler tags if you're like spoiling something major. But on the whole, without going into too much depth, maybe like spoiling for other people. Let me know what you guys thought about it. You know, because um, yeah, I loved it. But anyway, that aside, we grinded, we grinded, we grinded. Um, we streamed. Uh, I started streaming when I was like 10 points on Killian Dane. And uh, here we are, guys, two points away from this monster. Two points away from this monster. Two points away from this heroic. And uh, it looks like I'm only facing... Um, there you go, perfect, we finally found one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend... Yeah, we'll, we'll do this plus three. Might as well. We'll do this plus three. And hopefully we can go and win this. After this, guys, I'm going to go ahead and watch some uh, some old school TNA pay views as well, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I'm also going to watch um, Osprey versus Kushida, which um, Flame, you all know Flame, has, uh, has told me that I have to watch it. He's not giving me a choice, it's like, apparently it's one of those matches I have to watch, and whenever he says that, it's normally a banging match. So, I'm going to watch that, then I'm going to go watch some uh, some good old TNA old school pay views, which is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. Um, again, guys, like, let me know, let me don't like... Drop me some comments, guys. Be let's let's be active in the comments. Um, and if you are, um, well, first I'll probably like I like, like your comment, and two, um, I'll, I'll I'll try and respond. I'll try and respond to all comments, um, especially because especially if they're about thirteen reasons why and TNA, like two things that I love. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what your favourite TNA pay per view is of all time. And if you don't watch any TNA, have never watched any TNA. I ask you guys, I ask you guys to just try it, try it, go on YouTube, because obviously not everyone's going to get the network, the TNA, Global Force, the Network Impact Zone network thing, um, and just, just, yeah, on YouTube you'll see some stuff, you'll see some great stuff, like your favourite wrestler was probably in TNA at one point or another, so go see what he did, go see what he did in TNA, like maybe your favourite wrestler's Kurt Angle, like mine, maybe it's AJ Styles, maybe it's Samoa Joe, maybe it's Jeff Hardy, maybe it's... Rob Van Dam, maybe it's Mr. Kennedy, maybe it's Sting, maybe it's any of these guys behind me, you know, maybe it's a tag team, Young Bucks were even in TNA, um, loads of names that you wouldn't even think were in TNA and were Dean Ambrose, um, CM Punk, um, I believe both of those, both of them were in TNA at one point, I might be mistaken and I might be thinking of them in WWE just a long time ago. But I feel like they were both in TNA, like early, early days. Um, Eric Young, if he's your favourite wrestler. Bobby Roode, um, you know, so many more um, amazing wrestlers were in TNA. And, yeah, made that show for me. So, yeah, check it out. Just, just, just check it out. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I'm extremely tired, as maybe some of you guys can tell. I've been, uh, after sleeping for so long and making that video for you guys, when, uh, pretty much as soon as I woke up from, uh, from now... Um, I'm tired. Like I'm not physically tired because I haven't done anything, but I'm mentally tired. I'm mentally tired from just just doing the same thing all day, um, which is just playing this game. Uh, and there you go. We've got the we've got it, guys. This was very important for me to get this heroic. Of course, some of you may know, some of you may not know. If I haven't, maybe I haven't said it enough. But after I get the heroic, Nijax in the ring domination. I am taking a break from heroics. Only it will probably only be for one or two events. But I'll be taking a break from it. I've got my exams coming up in a couple of weeks, and that is absolutely where my focus has got to be. My number one priority cannot be, 
you know, whether I get heroic in Supercard, whether I have uploaded a video on YouTube, whether I'm going to stream or not, whether, you know, whether I've charged in this or, 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 or you know, I'll, I'll try my best to charge and stuff. I will probably charge, you know, I'll probably still play Supercard because I need some kind of distraction from studying, but it's not going to be like two Road to Glories, two Ring Dominations. Um, so definitely we'll be stepping a back just a little bit from this game. And there you guys have it. We have gotten the heroic upgrade for Nia Jax. That looks absolutely cool. So heroic Nia RTG. Boom, save that. There you go. Six picks. How awesome would it be if we got our reset right here live on video for you guys? Boom. No, of course not. And there, we, there, you, there you guys have it. There you guys have it. I spent 2,000 credits. Just, 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 just about 2,000 credits on this RTG. Had to start spending a little bit on bouts towards the end just so I could get it out of the way uh, without it, you know, going into the early hours of the morning. Um, and there you, there you go. Three hours until we go into attack phase. Uh, looking like a looking like a very good battleground. It's uh, as a matter of fact, it's a hundred percent win in battleground because we're facing what looks like a bot team. And if it's not a bot team, it's a terrible team. Um, you know, rare, pro rare images. The best one is obviously this uh, Maurice Beast hardened uh, Roman Reigns survivor page, and all the others are just rare images. So uh, this is a, a a win. This is a win. As simple as that. Thank you so much for watching so far in this video guys, I hope there will be some more segments in the latter part of this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, leave me a comment about all those things that I spoke about, take care, bye for now. Hey guys, what's going on, welcome back to the episode. Let's start this off guys with informing you on my last pull I got. So I got this about 10 minutes, 15, 15, 20 minutes ago, I don't know, something like that. And what a pull it was, guys. So, um, I'm going to go and reveal it on the screen for you guys on the last pull section in 3, 2, 1. Sarah freaking Logan, which some of you guys may recall, um, was, I believe, my first ever female pull in this tier. So, yes, that is a pro. It's not great in the tier, but I am very, very happy with this. Nijax will be, of course, my first. Sarah Logan, well, sorry, Sarah Logan is my first, Nijax will be my second, Carmella from Money in the Bank will most likely be my third, unless I get very lucky and get another one um, before then. So finally, I'm looking good on the females, this is exactly what I needed, um, a female pull, um, which, yeah, I've been saying this for a while, this is what I needed. Straight, you know, like, we're right in the midst of, uh, of this female event card as well. Carmella, I'm at 25,000 contracts right now, so I've already got that first one secured. Got, over, got um, just about a month left, I believe, isn't it? Yes, it's just over a month left. Um, well, it depends. 30 days, 31 days. But we've got 30 days left to go ahead and get myself the remaining contracts I need for that Carmella. For the second Carmella, so that should give me plenty of time to go ahead and do that. So there you guys go. Oh, well, there you guys see um, Sarah Logan. I'm, I was really happy with that. I, uh, I definitely, definitely jumped out of my seat. So what else do we have to have to show you guys? Of course, we've got some Team RTG business going on. Um, currently, yeah, about 113 points. Exactly 113 points away from finishing off this Galisto. And then we'll start on the Kevin Owens. Uh, with just under 12 hours left to go. So not too bad. We're not rushing it. Um, big shout out to Biscuit BBL Apocalyptic, Trigger Matt, uh, all on their 420 or, um, or more at this point. Isaac, Simon, myself, they're at 330. I uh, haven't really been playing that much. Uh, definitely wasn't up uh, during the uh, the start of it because uh, I was sleeping, which was bad. <laughs> Terrible of me. Uh, but yeah, so I missed the beginning of that. Um, and then a couple people here at the bottom who were. Uh, who will hopefully, you know, get their points as well. So uh, plenty of time to go and get this Kevin Owens. Of course, we will get Kevin Owens. Uh, not, not a doubt in my mind that we'll we'll miss out. Um, next thing is plan them back. It's uh, it's that time again. Every 48 hours, that time where we open a very disappointing platinum pack. Um, I'm I'm very confident I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna get a WrestleMania from it because uh, I've seen my team, my teammates get a couple of them already. 
um, two, I believe, already have gotten them in their packs, um, and I don't think I don't think there's you know I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get lucky with that. Normally, I'd say one or two people get get the 34s in their packs. I don't I don't think more than two of us are gonna get it. So we'll open it. Um, I just want catalog. If I'm not gonna get a 34, just give me some kind of catalog. There's so many titans I still haven't gotten yet. Prode, um, one or two or three three monster males uh, and a bunch of monster females so just yeah just give me some kind of catalog would be very nice oh we actually got one <laughs> damn okay wow this background's been given out then we actually got one in here this is gonna be my third one monster one titan and one wrestlemania 34 Woo! that's cool that's cool all right straight away i'm pumped because of this you know straight away so time's gonna be first Ultimate Warrior, 34 is next. Anyone, as long as it's not a duplicate, a third. Any, anyone but a third, yeah? Anyone but a third. <sighs> Sarah Logan, I got about 20 minutes to go. Could this day get any better, supercard wise? We'll find out. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Damn! That's a pro! That was my last pull before Sarah Logan. <laughs> that was my last pull. I got a support card, Miss Elizabeth in between um, P. Dunn and Sarah Logan. But yeah, that's a pro. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. And, uh, and someone in my team, Kenny, um, literally pulled P. Dunn and then his next reset after pulling P. Dunn, well, not next reset, but like his next WrestleMania reset was another P. Dunn. Uh, yeah, my reset, my next, but my last superstar reset before Sarah Logan was indeed Pete Dunne, and now we get him from this background pack. That's pretty cool, and Kyle O'Reilly there. Um, I'll definitely take that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So uh, we'll do Dunne Pro. There you go. Put that in the comment there. Okay, just save that image. Hopefully he's not in an event soon now, but um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I can, uh, I can, I can work with yet another pro. So. Uh, that's cool. That's very cool. What that means is um, we'll be now, yeah, just one or two pros away from completing RTG. Let's go and lock him in. Uh, again, it's another it's another low tier pro WrestleMania wise. Where we're really struggling with high tier male pros in the tier. Uh, the only one I have got is Nakamura. But I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to complain with pros. Um, yeah, that you'll see. It'll replace replace the Miz, and then we'll be two away. Sarah Logan is going to come in, Nia Jax is going to come in to replace the regular Titans we have in here, finally get rid of those regular Titans and then before you know it, oh, I should be, ha I should have Carmella and who knows, maybe maybe another normal uh, pro in 34 female so yeah, that's, that's absolutely awesome guys, it's been a good episode it's been a great episode, if you guys have enjoyed please drop this video a like, subscribe if you're new around here make sure you check out the streams that I do on Twitch guys on a regular basis I'm uh, literally like two weeks away from my uh, English exams, so after that I really hope I can get back to doing more content for you guys on YouTube, but yeah, that's going to be all for me today, take care, bye for now guys.